Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Ah! There's no way my voice is going to sound any better. Even if you used an application that tweaked it and uh, made it sound clean, like somewhere near a pitch of some kind. It was like noise to some people. I, I do this better. White noise, I excel at. Purple noise, not so much. So if you've not heard of an application uh, called Audacity, it is free. Or actually, it's open source to be specific. And it's cross-platform. It is a go-to application when it comes to editing audio files. Uh, and I don't mean audio files like people who love audio. They're known as audio files. It's spelled differently than the audio files. The files of audio. Uh, Audacity has been covered uh, seven ways from Sunday. Uh, certainly on LockerGnome.com. And we've done a couple of videos on Audacity as well, some screencasts. Uh, if you guys want to know anything more about Audacity, uh, let us know what you want to know. If you haven't been able to figure it out already, if you haven't been able to get your question answered uh, at one point or another on the internet, uh, we've posted a tutorial uh, based on some questions uh, that we had received, how to make vocal audio sound better in Audacity. Now, if, if you are someone who is publishing audio online, a podcast, uh, and you want to make sure your voice sounds good, there's some tweaks you're going to want to make. And yes, uh, much of it is contingent on the microphone you choose to use during the audio broadcast. In fact, after some recent tweaks that I made to the microphone that I'm using for these live YouTube broadcasts, audio should sound better. Uh, I My levels are now normal uh, in the sense that I'm not spiking and uh, coming in too hot as some people are prone to do if uh, the mic levels are a bit too high. Uh, but if you're trying to make your voice sound better uh, and you're dealing with you know all the tools that are in front of you, you don't have million dollar equipment, uh, Audacity may be able to help you. It's, it's not going to clean up everything, but certainly there are some filters you can run to make things sound better, including removing noise from the background. Uh, noise, like, uh, if, if I'm completely silent, do you hear anything in the background? You may, you may not. You may have picked up a, a computer fan that I have, the computer that's recording this particular video that's sitting a few feet away from this particular microphone. Uh, there's also a compressor you may consider. It's a, an effect within Audacity, so if you don't have a physical, a real compressor, connected to your microphone, uh, there's a virtual effect. And it doesn't work as nicely as something that is, like, real, like a, a, an actual compressor, but it gets the job done. Better than nothing. There's a hard limiter, normalize and amplify effects. You can also generate silence to smooth things out. Uh, we've posted a few different tips and tweaks, specifically in relation to Audacity, for those of you who have done anything or want to do anything with audio. Take a look. The link is in the video's description pointing to the article on LockerGnome.com.